when Michael got released from prison, you know, coming out from prison, sometimes it's very hard to find a job. And we sent out all his resumes and waiting, 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 still no response. So I started to doubt and stress. And then one night I couldn't go to sleep. And then I just heard this soft, like a cold breath behind my ears saying, why are you worrying? I've got this, you can go to sleep. And then I opened my eyes, I looked around, I'm like, no, no, everybody's asleep. And then next morning, I come to work, and then I got a phone call, um, Michael got a job. Then I rang up my daughter, I'm like, God is good. And she said, all the time. And she said, what good news you got? I said, Dad's got a job. Like, God works in mysterious ways. Sometimes you've just got to humble yourself and be patient and trust him. My name is Delphine, um, but I'd like to be called Del. I'm a Torres Strait Islander from uh, an island three kilometres off uh, Papua New Guinea called Saibai. Our great-great-grandfathers, they made a move to the mainland of uh, Australia at the tip of Cape York. They, they thought of the future generation will get that shortage of water and food. Well, I was born in Cairns and then we went back to a community up in Cape York called Bamaga. It's surrounded by five other communities, very close-knit. Everybody knows everybody. And we stayed there for about two years. Then Dad got a job in the railway. We went down to Brisbane. When Mum's dad got sick, we moved back up to Bamaga in 1985 and I finished off my high school years. Yeah, I'm the only daughter, I have no other siblings. I've got a daughter of my own as well. My mum, my dad and myself are very, very close. In 2002, we decided to come over for a school holiday and we came over for two weeks here in Darwin. I said to my husband, when are we going back? And he said, Christmas. I said, okay, I'll let work know. And December rolled over to the following year in 2003 and we kept on counting all the school holidays. <laughs> and we're still here. I used to go to Sunday school with my parents, but I didn't really know Jesus at that time. I just wanted to go to Sunday school to do all the fun things. When I moved to Darwin in 2002, I wanted to get closer to God. And I started working at Nongkulinga College in 2006 and just working here, I got closer to God and I wanted more of Him. And then in, in 2015, something happened. Yeah, something happened in our life, you know, in me and my partner's life. And he got sentenced. But he only got sentenced for six months. But those six months were very long six months. The staff and the students at Nogalinga they were my family, because my family pushed me away, my mother's side and my father's side, so that was a very, very big challenge. I was running out of hope. All I was doing was just crying and asking the Lord, like, where are you when I need you? Yeah, I just got closer, more closer to God, and I learned to trust Him. He's changed our lives dramatically. We know now how to love Jesus from our heart, not just from the tip of our lips. Forgiveness was a really hard thing. I held on to that, um, what happened to us. I was holding on to it, but the more I got closer to God, I learned how to let go and have peace in my heart. It's no use holding on to bitterness and things like that because it just drags you, puts weight on you. You just can't move forward. Learn how to read the Bible every day and that's something new, whereas before it was just um, books and TV and things like that, but it's emotional every day for me. You know, you get to more, more closer and closer to God and how He changes your life around, and we're happy the way we are living today with Christ in our life. Yeah. There was an ad in the paper back in 2006. I love cooking. So I started here as a kitchen hand. 
I always pray and ask Lord, if you want me to go, I will move on from here wherever you want me to go. If you want me to stay, I will stay. The staff and students here at Nungalinya, oh, they're just like a family to me. Through my toughest times, they have been there for me. The students here from all different backgrounds, different communities, um, I've also learned a lot from them as well. We've had fellowships at my place. I cook up big feed and invite students over. Sometimes staff come along as well and we all eat together and fellowship and sing and testimonies. They're just like a family to me. ago we went fishing out on a boat and big storm rolling in black clouds and I said to my husband oh that's gonna be like a rough one how about you pull up on the side of the mangroves and wait first and he said no like we're going fishing otherwise we're gonna miss this tide and as we were getting closer and closer to that them dark clouds you know how Moses been split the water and that's what happened to us like we went in between these dark clouds rain on the other side, rain on the other side, and we went straight down the middle and didn't get wet. Yeah, it's amazing how God works in your life and changes your life. Before um, like becoming a Christian, I didn't know how to trust the Lord. It was just, you know, believing in all witchcraft and uh, things like that. Because of the situation that what we went through a couple of years ago, I almost gave up hope. I was going to do something that wasn't in my character. I learned how to trust the Lord and be hopeful of Him. Forgiveness is a really, really big thing. When you forgive someone, you forgive it from the deep down inside your heart. And you feel that weight being lifted off. You just feel peace. Learn to love your enemies. Um, whereas before you hold on to that grudge and you hold on to your enemies and keep on carrying on, but it's not like that anymore. Underwater baptism back in 2016, that also was a beautiful experience too, you know, just coming up from that water. You can feel that weight being lifted off your shoulders and just all the bad things left behind. We try not to dwell in the past because, you know, we walk forward with Jesus every day and um, he's always before us, beside us and behind us. Yeah.